Welcome to Good Mythical More. Loaded fries, you gotta love them. No matter where you go on the planet, you gotta order them and they're gonna be different. <laughs> Can we guess where the loaded fries are from? You doing a commercial? There's a rest, there's restaurants. For loaded fries in general? Restaurants, they load stuff on fries. You gotta get them. All around the world. You're gonna love them. And you gotta love them and you're gonna order them. But first, we landed on Gift to Cality, which means we're donating $1,000 to the National Center for Transgender Equality to aid in their mission to change policies and society to increase understanding and acceptance of transgender people. Uh, please join us in giving and being your mythical best at transequality.org. All righty. So we're not actually eating anything else because I have no appetite. <laughs> You're eating with your eyes. There's yeah. visual eating to happen. Yeah. We're doing what you normally do. Yeah. Yeah. We're just, when you watch this so show. So relatable. Um, oh, I thought you were specifically only talking to me in that moment. Mm -mm. But now I see. We were talking to Stevie and Wilson, North Carolina. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I ever had I got a, a big snow. accent. I, I, Why not? How did you miss that? Because your parents do. Well, that's very true. I also went to private Jewish day school in the formative years before... I was, it was public school, then private Jewish day school, then public school, and there's a lot of non-Southernness, as you can imagine, in private Jewish day school. I think that's what happened. Mm. Um, yep, you were, in, yeah. you were a city girl. A city girl. Yeah, big city. Um, you were okay, a so city here Jew. Is, yes. Here is what's going to happen. I'm going to show you a photo of some loaded fries. They're from a specific restaurant that's in a different country. So it's not like it's like the signature dish of the country or, or anything. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to tell you about what's happening on the fries and then give you some options for where they could be from. <clears throat> okay, let's see it. Twinkie fingers. Okay, so these fries are covered in mochi nori, seaweed sauce, a cheese sauce, and they're topped with shredded cheese. I'm guessing mochi nori is like a, a mochi seaweed-esque type of it, thing. It looks from, very... From um, flubbery. Flubbery, yeah. So does the cheese. There's a fakiness to it. But I it's very picturesque. I really want to eat it. Hi. I uh, do not like nori, man. Nori. I don't That's even think I need your options. Okay. Tell I, me. I think this isn't from the Philippines. You're close. Mm. Uh, My next guess was is, Thailand. Think closer, as in closer sitting next to me. Uh, Arizona. Indonesia? <laughs> Indonesia? Who's sitting next to you? I can't see. It's blocked. I said, oh, you said it, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I, I missed Indonesia. it. I was laughing too loudly. Yeah. Davin's homeland of Indonesia. Yeah. What, what high restaurant? High Fries. Do you know High Fries as a place? Davin does not know High Fries. Uh, H-I. Do you recognize packaging? like this formation of fries, Davin? Like th these two sauces on fries? Uh, no. No, this must be like a new thing. Oh, since you've left. Okay. When's the last time you went back to Indonesia? Oh, boy, it's been like three years now. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, that's so not is, too long. very recent. All it right. says their popular sauces include a garlic cream sauce, a cheese sauce, a bolognese sauce. Wow. And the motion. I do think sauce. we could be doing bolognese more with sauce. fries, we, with, with sauces for fries, because yeah. they're, they're definitely meant for, for sauce, but, like, we just stick with ketchup, you know? I don't know what it is. Like, okay, so there's a parallel between nachos and loaded fries, right? Because it's just like... Yeah. The, the the bottom part is different. But there's something in my mind that doesn't allow me to go into loaded fry territory. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Well, they it get soggy. Like... They get soggier, and they so you, they lose the crunch a lot quicker, I think. And I they, think they're it... not made to hold stuff when you, like, yeah. when you pick one up, everything, if it's not sticky and flubbery, as you say, yeah. it kind of falls off. It doesn't have the right, you know. That, but and I, you I, have I... to use a, a fork. I think also a, f a naked fry is, is pretty damn good. A naked tortilla chip. It's eh, asking eh, for something. It's yeah. asking for toppings. Yeah. I think Let's see another one. So. Oh, we got shrimp. We got a lime. We've got, what are those? These are um, pickle shrimps. Loaded prawn fries with bacon and ranch sauce and garnished with peppers. Peppers. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna oh, need this some is options good. for this. I, I'm gonna say Thailand for this. Okay, Thailand's an option. The other two options are Kenya and the Bahamas. Oh. Well, the shrimp and the lime is, is, is making me think Bahamas. It's actually Kenya. It's from the Blue Tang Table in Nairobi. The Blue Tang Table? Yeah, it looks fancy. Mm. Look at the staging around it. Dang or Dang. Tang? Dang, Tang. Lee, hey, Lee and Parents. If your Worcester Tang is Charles. blue, they're going to line up around the block. Mm hmm. This looks good. I like that, man. Real, you're into a shrimp. Shrimp and fry combo? Yeah, I, I, you like shrimp about, on things. I like shrimp on things. Like, <laughs> if it's, it does. If it's in the, if it's, if shrimp's on the menu, I, I don't know. I just I always like to get a little, little bit of shrimp. Just, I, just a little bit, though. I've always liked shrimp. I, I like shrimp in a burrito. An embarrassing amount. I like shrimp I like, in an enchilada. Oh, yeah, I like shrimp in a burrito. Um, I like shrimp on a, on a stick. More than crab. Shrimp on a barbie. Uh, more than crab. Yeah, like I like shrimp on a salad. I don't like hmm. crab on a salad. Oh, I do. Shrimp and grits. Oh, yeah, I love shrimp and grits. Yeah, I like shrimp and grits. wonder how crab and grits would be. I, I had like crab salmon too. And grits. Cajun salmon and grits recently. Ah, I was salmon? Like, eh. I was like, mm. uh -uh. I, salmon is so strong that yeah. I eat salmon for the like health reasons. But I'm right. usually like, this should be another type of fish right now. That's mm -hmm. what I'm thinking. Really? About yeah. yeah. I, I, I think that there's a good you feel that way. salmon dish out there that might change your mind. Let's see uh, uh, the next one. Oh, let me, let's, let's see if we can decipher this. This is like... Um, That's pomegranate. Oh, yeah. Pomegranate. Basil. Uh, in some sort of... What kind of... Is that like a cucumber sauce? Is it like a is it is this like a Greek sauce? I wonder. Is it a uh, is well, it yogurt sauce? Well, there's something different about the fries themselves. I'll say they're not potatoes. They're not potatoes. Yeah. Uh, they're yucca. No, they're actually deep fried slices of halloumi cheese. Oh snap! Halloumi cheese. That stuff. I oh I had that gosh. recently. What is it like? Yeah, I, I can't remember. It's a firm it. cheese that can be sliced. Mild? This is like this is like it's a will wild. it fry. This it's, cheese will it fry. But it's a it's firm and Which mild, and so cheese. it can be like configured into things. Wow. What? So what's on this? Yogurt, Pe peppers, pomegranate, sumac, coriander, and chili. Sumac. That stuff. That stuff make you itch. No poison sumac will. Make I'm itching sumac. right now. This this is oh I did I would love well, to taste this that flavor profile and the halloumi just makes me think uh, I'm gonna go with like we're talking somewhere in the Middle East uh, I'm gonna say the Balkans okay so it's tricky because the restaurant is like a Middle Eastern restaurant but it's not in the Middle East so the options are the UK Portugal or Mongolia um the UK, UK. Yeah. What's it? What's the restaurant? Alibaba. Alibaba. Right. I thought Add that, was that the to web, the list. The website it says. Um, Next time we go to Alibaba, Alibaba uh, has London. managed to take the rich, varied tastes of the Middle East and basically fry them into something deliciously British. Deliciously British. Those oh, two so words don't go together. They're claiming they're br the Brits are claiming the creation of the French fry. Well, fish and chips situation. <laughs> okay. I'd love to go back to London, and we'll go to Alibaba. Man, I want to go back too. I love that city. Yep, it's like New York with a little bit of like flair. Let's we see have, another. We have fun in London. Yeah, I like London. That one looks good. Oh, this one's got bean sprouts on it. What are those white clumps? It's kind of blown out. I think that might be lychee. Okay. I wonder if this is in uh, I don't know Belgium. I don't have a lot of info on what I, I believe that's like a mayo, the white stuff, because it's uh, oh yeah, beef yeah, 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 stew yeah, yeah. sauce. Oh yeah, beef stew sauce, mayo, and fresh sprouts. I don't like. Why this. even bother with the sprouts at that point? Why even bother with any of these choices? Really? I'm gonna I'm gonna be more specific. I'm actually gonna go with the city. I'm gonna say this is in Bruges. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I. Uh, where, where are you going to guess? <laughs> oh. A dollop of mayo yeah. makes me think of... of uh, yeah, yeah. Would you, would somewhere you, in Belgium. You might maybe think it's a Belgian eatery? Yeah. 
Okay. A bar, maybe a bar, a, like a potato bar of sorts. Yeah, right. Oh, I think I'd have to I agree. Don't know how you guys did it? Belgium is the country. Seems yeah. th- everything seems real. Yeah. There's a lot of realness with the toppings. I don't know what that reference is. I can't see whatever you're reading there, but yep. Yeah. Belgian beef stew fries from the potato bar. Belgian beef stew fries. Ooh, that that sounds good. I mean, we're really just talking about this is a this is uh uh what's the P word from Canada? Poutine. Poutine. We're in like total poutine territory. Ish. We're putin it up. I will poutine say the, it the, up. the the so the potato bar, they just made their container smaller so they can pile the fries like that. I don't like those sprouts up there. That not that doesn't look Yeah, good. yeah, we don't need that. Well, you know, I'm being fool? very negative. I love London and I love when people pile a lot of things into a small container and then it makes it really messy to eat. I remember the movie in Bruges being good. I don't remember much about it. There was a tower involved. Somebody was at the top of the tower. Somebody was at the bottom. Colin Farrell was in it. Yep. I remember it being good. Do you re- do you remember uh, our podcast? Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I when I yeah I do re- now that you mentioned it I do remember. Do you it. remember the name of it? Gear Biscuits. Yeah, and did you remember that it has a YouTube channel that it also? It's called Ear Biscuits. Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen to it. Watch it. We just, it's two lifelong friends talking about life for a long time. Wherever you get your podcast. It's a podcast. We just open our hearts to you. <laughs> All right. Let's More see. Fries? Wh- yeah. More fries? Yeah. More fries. Waffle oh, fry. That's a waffle fry with a lime, and we got some chili. And I'm looking at the vegetation in the back for some clues. This is, this is uh, near the equator. Mm. Uh, I'm going to say this is Panama. Um... That's these are a, um, that's a spicy looking spoon over there. These are chili crab waffles. Oh, fries. there we go yes. with the crab. I yes. love some Lime, crab. Lime, basil, and green onions. Ooh, that that looks good, doesn't it? Man, I mean, a nice, especially with a waffle fry. Like waffle fries might be the perfect to your yeah. nacho point. Yeah, that's a perfect. I feel like that's the solution to a loaded fry. Is I've seen loaded fries with waffle fries before. What, what about the stuff that slips through the holes? Well, the they're tight holes. <laughs> and no crab going to climb through that hole, That's man. That's true. It's a tight hole. So, uh, a tight hole. Yeah. It's a tight hole. Yep. <laughs> I believe this is Belize. Belize? <laughs> uh, I believe it to be true. I think I think this is Omaha. <laughs> that's, a, that's Nebraskan foliage back there. What is it? Okay, what here are your options? options. The Philippines, Singapore, or Madagascar. Oh, Singapore. No, Madagascar. No. Island. There's not enough people there to... to Madagascar's huge. There's nobody there, though. Oh, no, lots of people. And it's beautiful. There's lots of crab, too. Really? I think this is... Is there an Australian option? Sure. I'm going to say uh, Australia. It's Singapore. 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 From a restaurant called Loof. Loofa? Loof. L-O-O-F. Loof. O O F Loof. All right, I want to see that airport one day. The one the in airport? Singapore. Yeah, Singapore has some amazing architecture. Amazing airport. You know, it looks like futuristic, like somebody drew it in the back of a comic book or something, but it's actually for real on the Earth. Um, well, that this fry is beautiful. This next fry isn't so beautiful. Oh yeah. But you know what? It doesn't have to be beautiful. It looks it like an good. accident. Now that looks like poutine. Yeah, gra- you got, it looks like some kind of gravy, but what is this? Cheese. Is that, no, that's, it looks crumbly and it looks like insects. Is that, I think it's pieces of me- sausage, maybe? Is it like crumbled? It's pieces of something that you don't like. Liver. Uh, I think it's grasshoppers. The thing that it is would give away immediately where it's from. It, it's in the meat family. It's in the intestine family, I would say. Partially. Chitlins? Oh, it's like tripe? Mm-hmm. Uh, Think cookie. Haggis. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Haggis, gravy, and cheese. Uh, Scotland. Yeah. From Tofskis. That's a lot of haggis. Now, okay, listen. You know, I had haggis in Scotland, 
and it wasn't that bad because when it's prepared in the way that they actually consume it, okay, it's not that bad. I also had um, blood sausage, and it, and that also wasn't bad. I had I had both of those in the same meal for a breakfast, and I was like, okay, I get it. I like if you do you it, you had them at the same time for breakfast. Yeah, mm-hmm. haggis and blood sausage and a bunch of other stuff. Get it over with, huh? Wow, it was a buffet. It's a breakfast buffet. I think we should go to London because I really like it. Okay, you want to do the camping trip there? Yeah, <laughs> let's camp in London. I think that'll go well. Yeah, they got some. They got some parks. Get as adventurous as you want in your kitchen with the Mythical Kitchen merch collection available now at mythical.com.